this was actually my makeup bag <laughs> that I've emptied out because I don't I haven't worn makeup in weeks, as you guys know, because I'm just so tired. I don't have the energy to put on a full face of makeup and to do my hair perfect and to look amazing. Yeah, I'm too tired. So I don't do that right now. Hey Mountain Family, how's it going? So today I am going to show you guys what is in my hospital bag. I am 36 weeks and two days today, and I can't wait to show you guys what's in my hospital bag. I've been so excited to do this video since like December, but I've been waiting until now to do it, so let's just get into it. Before I do, one second, just to let you guys know, Carly's here with me. Say hi, Carly. Hi, Carly. <laughs> She said hi, Carly. Anyway, um, she's here with me. She's going to be in and out of camera view. She doesn't take afternoon naps anymore because I've learned that when she does, she doesn't go to bed at night until like 11 o'clock midnight, and I can't have that. Like, that's too late. So I've cut out her afternoon nap, and it's been working great. She goes to bed at her time that she's supposed to, so... She's going to be in and out of camera today. So this is my hospital bag itself, and I know it looks a little unconventional. Dev and I don't have luggage. Like, we just don't. So I was going to use a backpack that I used for Carly and Kenley, but I can't find my backpack anywhere. I have no clue where it went. So if this baby can just stay in there at least until 37 weeks, which is this Saturday, then Devin is going to look for the backpack for me. And hopefully I can just transfer everything out of this bag and put it into my backpack because that's what I really prefer but while I still have this bag for right now at least temporarily I'm going to show you guys what all is in it I'm going to start off with Andy's stuff and this is the stuff that we have packed for her our hospital provides a lot of stuff I don't know about your hospital but my hospital provides so much that it's not really necessary to pack that much so I have two hats for her I have this hat that was knitted and it was given to us. It was really, really sweet. So we have this little pink hat and it's thicker. And this is th a thinner hat that we have packed for her. It's just a random hat that I've had since like Carly was a baby. But I don't really use hats whenever we're home because we're home. It's been barely used. And Carly was a summer baby and you don't put newborn hats on summer babies when you go out. So these are the two hats that I've packed. And I've also packed a little bow for her going home outfit. And speaking of, it's right here. <laughs> I've decided to do these pants, which I'm sure you guys have seen if you saw my baby girl haul. And this little onesie says I'm snow cute. And most likely I'll put this hat on her. I know it doesn't really match, but I don't care. <laughs> and I have these little socks. I have a fuzzy pair and a regular pair. She'll probably just wear the regular pair when we're actually in the hospital. And the fuzzy pair will be uh, going over top of this pair whenever we leave. Most likely I'll pack another pair of socks now that I think about it. But uh, right now this is what I have. And for Andy's other things, I've only packed two other outfits and that's it. I've packed this sleeper, which I'm sure you guys have seen if you saw my baby girl haul, and this gown. Because I just love gowns. <laughs> so this is all that we have packed for Andy. The hospital provides everything. Diapers, wipes, cream. I mean everything. Burp claws, everything. So I don't really feel the need to pack much of anything else. Except just clothes and the going home outfit. Stuff like that. Now for the bulk of the things that is in this bag. Which is my stuff. I've packed two pairs of socks, a regular pair and a fuzzy pair, and I know it's going to look like, as you watch this video, that I haven't packed a whole lot, but Dev and I live really, really close to the hospital. Like, it's an easy 15 to 20 minute drive there and back. So if he has to run home and get me something, it's really not the end of the world. So other than socks, I have a nursing bra, and this is just a regular nursing bra. This is actually too big on me if I put it on right now, but I know that my milk comes in pretty fast. I think my milk comes in at the end of the second, maybe the third day. I think two or three days after I give birth, that's when my milk comes in, and then I'm going to be engorged, so then this will fit great. So <laughs> I went ahead and I packed it anyway. My going home outfit will be this green shirt. It's an maternity shirt because I'm not one of those women that just snaps immediately back into their pre-pregnancy body right after they give birth. I'm just not one of those women. <laughs> I'm not even skinny like you know pre-pregnancy body sort of skinny but you just got a little bit of a bump. Yeah that's not even me. I still look pretty pregnant right after birth 
and I will for probably the first week I would say and a lot of youtubers that I watch have been having babies recently and they do their one week update and I'm like dang girl <laughs> you look so much better than I will at one week and this black undershirt will go with me I just haven't packed it because I need to wear it until we go for the rest of the time that I'm in the hospital, I've packed two tanks. And this is probably all I'm going to wear. <laughs> Either this tank or this tank, whenever the other one gets dirty. That's probably all I'm going to wear, as well as these sweatpants. And the last thing that I've packed is a big bottle of witch hazel. My hospital provides witch hazel pads, but they don't give you enough of them. They're pretty stingy with them. So I just brought my own bottle, and I can just put some on my pad while I'm there if I run out of the actual pads that they give me that are witch hazel pads. I can just use this instead. And I have a little list here that my toddler has gotten a hold of, but <laughs> I have a little list of things that I haven't packed yet that need to be packed like last second as we're walking out the door because I need this stuff <laughs> before we leave. And the things on my list are my extension cord because the outlets in our hospital are like mounted on the wall, like in the middle of the wall. And your charging cord is not gonna reach that. So <laughs> Dev and I have learned, bring an extension cord. Uh, chargers for all electronic devices because in the meantime we use those uh, my our phone which I didn't think I was gonna forget but in the middle of labor I, you just don't know what you're gonna forget and flip-flops I have yet to get my shower flip-flops I totally forgot to do that this past weekend Ah, oh, pregnancy brain so I need to do that this weekend and then I will be pretty much packed I mean that's pretty much everything as far as clothes and all that go. And the last thing that I'm showing you guys is my toiletry bag. This was actually my makeup bag <laughs> that I've emptied out because I don't, I haven't worn makeup in weeks as you guys know because I'm just so tired. I don't have the energy to put on a full face of makeup and to do my hair perfect and to look amazing. Yeah, I'm too tired so I don't do that right now. So I went ahead and I cleaned out my makeup bag which I don't have a whole lot of makeup anyway and I put it in a separate Walmart bag and I just cleaned out all the little compartments because all these compartments they come undone and I made it my toiletry bag so I didn't have to buy an extra toiletry bag I just used this one so I'm gonna go buy compartment I'm gonna start with this one in this one I have body wash my shampoo mouthwash and I don't normally put lotion all over my body I'm not like that kind of a girl but there is nothing better than that shower right after you give birth. There's just something about it that makes you feel so clean and rejuvenized. And I want to put some lotion on right after that just to make me feel a little better. <laughs> So I'm bringing some lotion and I actually bought these bottles at Walmart instead of buying travel sized everything for 90 some cents I instead bought these for $2.27 24 cents it was something like that and they came out a package of four You just get them and just put the stuff that you have at home in these bottles in the long run It saved me money. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that instead <laughs> in this compartment I have my moisturizer for my face, makeup remover. I haven't put my cleanser in here yet because I still use that. And I'm going to lay this toiletry bag on the back of my toilet because I use all this stuff. But it does need to be on my list. I need to write that on my list so I could take it with me before we go. And I'm bringing some BB cream and some mascara because like I said, after that first shower, after you give birth, I just want to feel good. <laughs> I just want to be like, oh, I'm myself again. I feel a little bit more human. So yeah, I'm just going to put on some BB cream and some mascara just to feel more myself because I haven't felt myself in months and I think I deserve it. And I bring in a hair clip because I just don't know when I'm going to need one and you just don't know. And the last two compartments are pretty boring. This is just my toothbrush and my toothpaste. And these are flushable wipes, which are a must after you give birth. Toilet paper hurts so bad when you try to wipe right after giving birth. Yeah, these are a must. So I have my flushable wipes here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, my links are down below. I really suggest that you follow me on at least one of them if you are interested in knowing when I go into labor and pictures of Andy before I actually do my videos because I will be posting to social media. I just won't be able to do my video for a couple of days because I have to put that all together and you know what I mean. Anyway, I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.